Angels. Welcome back to my channel. So let's jump into your messages and see what the universe wants you to know. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And click that notification bell so that when I upload readings, you guys will be notified. All right. So we have the Three of Swords, the Fool, the King of Swords, and the Chariot Reversed. All right, so some of you are dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. We also have Cancer energy here in the reverse and Aries energy in the upright. I feel like you guys are going to have, I feel like you're starting over with someone or starting back talking to them again with the King of Swords, the Fool, and the Three of Swords, but you don't truly trust this person, Virgo. I feel like you're starting to see this person for who they really are and you're dealing with them accordingly and they're not going to like your new energy and your new attitude. I don't feel like you're ready to quite walk away from this um, Libra, Gemini or Aquarius person just yet. Um, They could be, you could know that there's a third party here with the Three of Swords and there's a lot of disappointment around the situation but I don't feel like you're ready to give up on this person just yet so let's see what happens here what messages do you have for Virgos messages do you have for Virgos all right the four of swords someone is thinking about something that you said to them that had to do with them not being um, the four of wands reverse is something that's not stable so you may have told this person that you don't like the fact that whatever you guys have you can't depend on it it's not a stable situation if you said that to someone or text that to someone they are thinking about it this person feels like they owe you an apology they want to um, reconcile they want to fix the situation and compromise I don't know if this person is actually changing their situation though because I feel like there's more going on here this may be someone who um, still deals with their baby mom or their baby father or someone that's married so that's why I feel like you're you're just starting to see the situation for what it is Okay, yeah, because we have the Three of Cups here. And you're just going to deal with it accordingly. Deal with it how it comes. With the Seven of Pentacles, I don't see this person wanting to leave you alone. They feel like they're already invested and they want to see this through. However, you guys um, move forward with this. They're not, they're not giving up either. This person feels like um, they've already... You see how their boot is brown so it's like this person's foot is already in they've already gotten their boot dirty you know an analogy for i'm already invested in virgo i love virgo i want to stay in the connection with them but i still have to figure out this other shit that i have going on basically we have the hermit at the bottom of the deck so we have you at the bottom of the deck doing a lot of soul searching through these tower moments that you're having with this person one minute you want to leave this person out in the cold virgo this could be an aquarius for some of you with the star card reverse Sometimes you don't have faith in this. And then there's other times where you may feel like, oh, I love this person. We can work this out. But I'm really not sure. <laughs> okay. I just got to tell you what I see here, Virgo. This is what I'm seeing. So I feel like sometimes you feel like we can. And sometimes you feel like we can't. When it comes to you and your person. And you're just figuring this out um, day to day. But I do see you coming up with some sort of plan here with the Ace of Swords. The Six of Swords reverse. So you may not be walking away from this just yet but you are very guarded you are very guarded with your energy so you're not giving a lot of yourself right now and your person is um they're seeing it they're seeing it in your behavior and your new attitude i feel like you have a new attitude with this person and they may not like it but what are they gonna do right they caused it yeah it's because the higher front reverse taurus energy and the page of swords so you're tired of watching this person 
Um, you may watch them some time to see what they're up to, or this could be someone, you know, this could be them watching you, but you're like, okay, if you're not going to commit, fine, I'm just going to do my thing. I'm not going to be who you want me to be in this relationship anymore. I'm not going to show up for you how you want me to. I'm going to show up how I want to show up. And so I feel like this is the attitude that you're adopting. And even though you, you're not walking away from this situation just yet, and the reason why I know that is because we have the Six of Swords reverse and the Eight of Cups in reverse, you know, you're like, I'm going to treat you how you treat me, basically. You're like, okay, I want to be with you. I still love you. But if this is how you're going to treat me, then this is how I'm going to treat you. That's the new attitude I feel like you're adopting with this person until you sort of figure out which direction you want to go in because I, yeah, because I did see the Ace of Swords. So until you come up with a plan or you figure out exactly what you want to do, this is where you're at right now with your energy, with the Queen of Pentacles coming out here. So you're sort of dominating your energy right now in this reading. And you're like, this person may feel like they're getting over on me, but they're not. I don't know, you have some sort of, I don't know if this is a plan I want to say that you're coming up with, Virgo, or you're just moving differently. You're just moving differently. And this person may start watching you. I don't know why I'm feeling like the tables will turn. I'm hearing that. The tables will turn in this situation. All right, so we have the Page of Pentacles reversed. Some of you are like, yeah, I don't need you. The world's reversed. Even though you're not walking away from it just yet, things are changing. You know, the death card is all about change and transformation. So I feel like you're changing something on your end. And this person may not even see this coming. You may blow their mind. Um, especially if this is someone who feels like you depend on them. You may be like, no, I don't depend on you. And I'm going to show you. Like, I don't need you. I want you in my life, but if you don't want to be there, um, you know, it is what it is. What messages do you have for Virgos? The Four of Cups. We also have the Five of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, you're sort of confused by the whole situation between you and this person. You're not taking anything um, for face value. Whatever they tell you is like you're not believing them. You're trusting your intuition and you're going off of what you feel is right. Now, I don't see the high priestess here, but these one, two, three, four cards are telling me that you're trusting your intuition. And even though you're still hanging on to this person because you still love them, you're thinking about a lot. You're taking a lot into consideration, especially things that have happened to you in the past. You're putting two and two together. And you're like, this is how I have to handle myself now. You're sort of still a little bit confused on where you stand with them. This could be a Pisces with the hangman here. Um, also, this person is seeing you as a missed opportunity, though. So they're not letting go of you either. So neither one of you are letting go of each other right now. But you are thinking about a lot that this person has done to you. And I feel like it triggers you some time when you think about it. And you may think about this person and get mad at them or just have an attitude and not want to be around them or not want to talk to them. Or when they reach out to you, you may have an attitude because you're you're triggered by your thoughts right now. All right, let's see. What messages do you have for Virgos? They're just working right now, Virgo. Basically, with the Eight of Pentacles, some of you work a lot too. Um, you could be putting in a lot of overtime. You may have more than one job. And you're sort of just like proving a point right now to this person. You're like, you think you know me, but you really don't know me. Because this is who I really am. And I'm going to show you type of energy. This could be um, with the King of Wands, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person may think they have you figured out, but they really don't. So whoever is, um, whoever this is that's being sneaky and you feel like you can't trust them and you guys are always arguing and they feel like, oh, okay, I know Virgo and I know what they will and won't do and things like that. You're going to be showing this person, a, I'm hearing a different you. Because you feel like they're very manipulative. This could be um, a Gemini, another Virgo, or a Leo that you're dealing with. And you're just like, I don't have the strength to deal with the manipulation and the game plan and the, the head games. 
you feel like this person, you know, um, they sort of try to play on your weakness. And yeah, you're just, you're letting them know. I don't know if you told this person something. You may have had an argument with them with the Knight of Swords and you were very aggressive with getting your message across to them. Messages do you have for Virgos? You know, the Five of Wands. So maybe you had an argument with your person and you're like, okay, this is it. Like, I'm tired of talking. I'm just going to now show this person what I made up. I'm going to show them how things aren't fair and I'm not putting up with it anymore. So this could be a Libra as well that you're dealing with. Let's get one more. Someone is, is going to see this new you and they're not going to like it. I feel like they're going to try to compromise with you. We have the Wheel of Fortune reverse, the Six of Pentacles reverse, the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you have money coming in. Also, I feel like um, you're tired of this person reconciling with this family situation that they keep saying they're leaving. The Ten of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and the Six of Cups reverse. It's like when they go through something with this person, Virgo, they come towards you and they're like, oh, I'm leaving. And then when everything is good, this person sneaks off back to this situation. You're tired of that. And with the Three of Pentacles... The Wheel of Fortune reversed, the Six of Pentacles reversed. You've let this person know, like, I see that there's no equal give and take. If this is how you're going to be, then I'm going to show you how I'm going to be. And we're going to see how you like that. Like, that's the energy that I'm, I'm seeing here. But it may cause this person to try to work things out and compromise with you and bring some sort of change on their end. I see communication coming here. Some of you, um, this could be someone who lives at a distance. Or this person travels a lot. Um, they're always on the go. Yeah. So those are the messages that I have for your reading, Virgos. Thank you for watching my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.